Hi, Assalamualaikum Salam sejahtera So today I would like to discuss about solution, suspension and colloid Alright, nampak macam lebih kurang sama tapi sebenarnya tak sama So, tanpa lengahkan masa lagi, cikgu nak revise sedikit Alright, ingat lagi tak berkaitan dengan revision sebelum ni Which is tajuk solution Solution is a mixture when solute dissolve in a solvent Dia adalah satu mixture, campuran apabila bahan larut melarut di dalam bahan pelarut ha, larut 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 lah alright so macam ni so apa contoh yang sebelum ni kita belajar kita ambil air biasa kemudian we put a, 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 a bit of sugar dan kita stirkan kita dapati bahawa a, solution adalah dia ada solute and that solute dissolve larut dalam water Maksudnya sugar tu larut dalam air makanya dia adalah solution tapi sebenarnya kita ada three kategori lah eh bila cakap berkaitan dengan solution ni we have solution we have suspension and we have colloid. So hari ni cikgu akan buat simple experiment bersama video ni. Alright untuk fahamkan lagi to make you understand more better about solution. So now kita pergi kepada solution. Alright solution is a clear mixture. Alright kenapa clear? Sebab all solute dia dissolve in a solvent Definitely dia akan clear Okay, sebab solute to dissolve Kemudian selain daripada clear That solution become clear The solution also become transparent ha, Transparent tu maksudnya kita boleh See through lah, boleh nampak kan Kemudian dia juga akan form a uniform color Maksudnya kalau ayat teh Ayat teh tu warna dia Warna ayat teh, ayat sirap warna dia merah Satu color saja. Ha, tak ada ada ha, apa tak ada ayat sirap yang kategori solution yang warna dia color lain-lain. Layer atas warna biru, layer tengah warna kuning, layer bawah warna merah, lagi bawah warna hijau. Ha, tak ada tak ada. Dia form a uniform mixture. Alright, disebabkan because of the properties dia adalah is transparent, maka light can pass through the mixture. Alright, beside that kenapa light can pass through the mixture? Because the solute is very tiny, sangat kecil. Alright. Jadi pada masa yang sama, light juga or uh, sorry, uh, apa jadi pada masa yang sama, alright, kita juga cannot get back that sugar from the filtration kerana because solution cannot be filtered. No residue. Tak ada baki kalau kita filteredkan benda tu. So cikgu akan buat simple experiment saja to show the solution. Right, cikgu ambil gelas Kemudian sudu dan cikgu ada Nescafe lah sebenarnya cikgu Okay Cikgu masukkan sedikit Nescafe Kemudian Cikgu masukkan air Good morning Thank you Oh wow, syat, syat, syat okay, Cikgu masukkan air Okay, ni dalam ni eh, you nampak kan ha, Ada Nescafe Cikgu masukkan sedikit air So, kan nampak tak di dissolve everything semua ni dissolve. Okay, so you can see that this color is transparent dan dia form a uniform. Ha, dia adalah transparent dan juga dia form a uniform mixture. Nampak color dia semua sama saja. Dan katakanlah cikgu ambil telefon cikgu, cikgu flashkan light lah. Kalau ada torch light, cikgu masukkan torch light. You know, apa yang akan berlaku, dia transparent lah. Okay, nampak? Macam air teh, macam air sirap, dia transparent. Hmm. Alright, ha, dia transparent. Hmm. Dia transparent, nampak? Ha, you boleh nampak sudu tu kan? Ha, nampak? Dia transparent. You can see that spoon inside that glass uh, dia transparent so this is a solution alright kenapa solution because solute dissolve in a solvent and then they form a clear mixture transparent mixture and then light also can pass through this solution you juga nampak spoon dekat dalam ni because dia punya size of particle of the solute tu is very tiny okay 
And boleh tak you nak filter balik Nak dapat balik Nescafe tu ha, Yang macam tadi tu Cannot Alright This one cannot be separated through filtration Okay So this is solution Okay So sekarang kita nak masuk pula kepada suspension Alright What is a suspension? Alright Suspension is actually a cloudy mixture When we mix solute and solvent Alright, but this solute is do not dissolve in a solvent. When this solute do not dissolve in a solvent, uh, contohnya macam pasir ke, kita campur dengan ayak kan, pasir dengan ayak, sand and water, what happen? Yes, they can mix around together, tetapi that sand do not dissolve in a solvent. So, what happen? They akan form a cloudy mixture. Alright, and then they can form a uniform colour of a mixture. You akan nampak layer-layer of colour, colour tak berapa sama. And then, solute do not dissolve in a solvent. It also prevent light to pass through the solvent. Kenapa it prevent light to pass through the solvent? Uh, oh, sorry, to pass through the solution. Because the particle of the solute is large. Alright, large enough to block the light. And then, it form a sedimentation or precipitate. They akan membentuk mendakan. Alright, di bahagian bawah apabila kita biarkan that mixture, right, that solution untuk rest. Okay, nanti kita akan tengok experiment. And last kali, last kali, it will also leave a residue when when filtered. Kita boleh dapat balik sand tu bila kita filterkan dia. Zafran no, Zafran no. Dan ni. Nah. Alright, so now kita buat simple experiment. Cikgu ada kelas. Then, cikgu masukkan sand pasiak belakang rumah cikgu. So, kita masukkan ayak. Ha. So, you nampak tak solution dia jadi cloudy. Kemudian, nampak tak colour dia? Colour dia tak sama kan? Ha. Atas tu macam, ok. So, this is a non-uniform. Nampak colour tak sama. Alright, atas macam cerah sikit, bawah macam gelap sikit. Tapi, kalau tadi kita nak comparekan dengan Nescafe tadi tu, solution. Ha, cikgu biar lama-lama pun, colour dia masih lagi clear. Alright, ha, tapi this one, non-uniform colour. Atas cerah, bawah macam gelap sikit. And then, solution dia juga macam cloudy kan, berkeladak. Ha, nampak tu, berkeladak. Okay, now, bila cikgu biarkan after some time, saya... After some time, cikgu biarkan what happen All the sand akan turun ke bawah Menyebabkan larutan atas ni jadi cerah sikit Bawah akan jadi gelap They form a precipitate They form a sediment ha, Itu istilah dia When rest or when leave So boleh tak cikgu nak dapatkan balik pasir ni? Can by using filtration method Boleh eh? Right, so cikgu biar dulu nanti kita dah hab, Dah penghujung video ni Kita akan get back to this, right? Hmm. Ha? Ok, so sekarang kita nak pergi tengok koloid ha, Nak pergi tengok koloid Tadi dah tengok dah Solution dengan suspension So sekarang kita nak pergi tengok koloid So actually we want to go further to koloid What is koloid? Ha, koloid ni special Because koloid dia macam intermediate Between solution and suspension Nak kata solution tak boleh Dia tak form a transparent solution Alright, tak form a uniform mixture uh, mm, Dia tak form transparent lah ha, Senang cakap Alright, nak kata suspension pun tak boleh Because it does not form a precipitate When rest, when settle Faham ya? So, colloid is actually intermediate Between solution and suspension So, now kita tengok dulu The theory of the colloid Alright Colloid is an intermediate between solution and suspension And then colloid also is a not clear solution Not clear solution And they also do not form a precipitate And also Kenapa property saya macam ni? Because two or more solute Disperse evenly in a solvent ha, Two or more solute Contoh apa paling senang? Emulsion, foam and gel Ini kategori dia lah Emulsion contohnya macam mayonis Macam milk kan And then macam foam 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 F-O-A-M Sorry Okay Macam foam Alright Foam ni sabun lah Foam bukan sabun Sabun isuk Foam ni buih 
Alright, yang macam shaving foam tu kan Bila you press, uh, dia nampak foam kan uh, That one is also colloid Kemudian lagi satu gel ha, Gel yang paling senang kalau you beli hand sanitizer Yang ada bits dekat dalam tu You nampak tak bits dia turun kat bawah Tak kan, ha, dia akan disperse evenly ha, That is a colloid So, experiment, a very simple experiment Yang cikgu nak buat adalah Cikgu nak ambil susu anak cikgu kita tahu inside this milk contain sugar, contain milk semuanya ada dekat sini so dia adalah 2 or more solute, betul tak? 2 or more solute, so kita tengok what happen I take half a spoon sajalah, sayang so, half a spoon of milk and then Take water, masukkan water hmm. So, kacaukan dia ha. So, this is a colloid Intermediate between solution and suspension ha, You can see that colour is very cloudy And then kalau cikgu biar lama-lama pun susu ni Alright It will not form a precipitate at the bottom. Alright. And then kalau light-light boleh tak pass through this? Cannot pass through this lah. Okay. Tapi dia ada dia ada form tak banyak-banyak uh, layer. Tak form banyak-banyak layer juga eh. Alright. Dan dia clear tak? Dia tak clear. Alright. Dia tak clear. Dia cloudy. So nak kata... Solution pun cannot because it does not form a transparent uh, solution. Nak kata uh, suspension pun cannot because it does not form a precipitate. So, this is a make emulsion, emulsion category. Uh, now, kita patah balik kepada suspension tadi. Nampak eh? See? Dah jernih sikit kan? And then, ada precipitate form at the bottom. Uh, because the solute does not dissolve in a solvent. Actually, you can go to the description button. Cikgu ada sediakan juga satu link video ke Teacher Husna 83. Teacher Husna punya channel, Teacher Husna 83. Alright. Dekat situ, dia discuss a bit more about solution, suspension and collide. Very interesting video. You should watch. Alright. Ada banyak teori dalam tu. Alright. And then, jadikan cikgu punya eksperimen ni just a guide. Alright. And then, I will also give you some links to animation between solution, suspension and collide juga. So, selamat menonton. Oh, sorry. And at the description button juga, I put some notes. Notes yang semua cikgu tulis kat sini, I put some notes. Cikgu takut macam jauh sangat kan? Alright, I put also the notes inside the description button. So, don't forget to subscribe and we we'll see you again next video. Bye. Assalamualaikum.